What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another camper van video. So as you guys know, we purchased this Ford Transit van a couple of weeks ago and the plan is to convert it to a camper van, which we will then rent out as a side business. But the problem is this camper van is absolutely massive. And the fact is we can't build this out on our driveway because we simply do not have the room. In fact, this is what our driveway looks like. It barely fits a Honda Accord. So today we are going to tackle that task. So today we're gonna to be moving this van to from our driveway in to our backyard and we're going to be doing this by cutting down a portion of this fence moving it into the backyard and then putting the fence back up and we're going to be doing this using the tools that HP has. I got my impact wrench to go ahead and take off some of the bolts for the supports for three poles and then one giant section in the center. We've already started cutting some of that pole. It's pretty close to falling as is. This is going to be a pain in the butt so uh, we're getting ready. So ultimately the plan is to take out these screws that way the fence can can detach from the rest of the fence and then we'll have to saw that metal pole because it's in cement into the ground that then will allow us to move the fence over. Now I know that my fence is not the best looking fence and you can blame that on my dog but as you can see here HP is starting to take off the screws that are holding the section of fence to the rest of the fence and then once we take out those screws the next step is to actually saw the fence pole in half so that we can actually physically remove it from the ground. And so as you can see here, that's what HP is doing. He is sawing the bottom of the pole from the top of the pole so that we can then remove the section of fence. Now, the problem is, is that the fence is incredibly heavy and it's starting to fall backwards, but our worry is, is that if it falls, we won't be able to get it back up or if it falls, it might just shatter into a million pieces because the fence is kind of weak to begin with. So you can see here that HP goes out of frame. He's going into the backyard in order to pull it from the inside and then I will come and I am going to try to push it as well. So that is how we essentially got the fence out. And now that the fence is out, we can go and plan on how we are going to get it inside the backyard. So you can see here that we got this cut. We put it off to the side here. We cut it from this pole and then we just basically separated the one piece. And so, now it's a matter of figuring out where we are going to be parking it. Well, I'm thinking if we can park the van with the tail here, try it as close as we can to here, and then I think at an angle so we have some working room, but maybe even just parking it straight here with the rear wheels here, and then we park it out straight ahead. I think that'll be pretty good. The fact is, is that our backyard is not the most nicest backyard. She's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Yeah. And so we do have a lot of dead spots that are already here. And so we're wanting to really take advantage of the dead spots that already exist without creating any more. So here you can see HP and I bickering back and forth about where we wanted to put the van. Now, ultimately, I didn't want the van to be the eyesore of our yard and I wanted to put it in a more discreet place, but HP wanted to plop it right in the entrance of our yard so that anybody who comes into our house can see exactly what we have going on here. So once we figured out where the van was going, which was plopped right in the middle of our yard for everyone to see, HP then had to go and back up the van into the backyard. Now, this video does not do this process justice because the hole to the fence was deceivingly small and the van is deceivingly large. So it was extremely nerve wracking to watch HP back this car up into the yard. But fortunately, HP's lifelong talent is that he can back up cars really, really well, and he was able to utilize this talent in today's video. So he was able to back up the car into the spot, and this is where it will have its final resting place as we convert it into a camper van. So my thought was whenever we're putting the van back here, I was afraid that the van might sink or since we're moving around, it's gonna start burying itself in the mud if it starts raining out, which we've been getting some rains here and there. Plus I have a sprinkler set up, which I'll have to adjust, but uh, we put these cement pads, just little one by ones, just to kind of give the vehicle a little more stability. I know this brick isn't exactly even, and uh, it's not really gonna be even if we put it on the cement pads, but my theory was, well, at least it's not gonna sink. Everything worked well. The uh, individual pads are rated for like 3,000 pounds a piece, and the van's about 9,000. Uh, my math wasn't the best, but about 12,000 pounds 
pounds with at least four on each wheel. So not terrible, but this one did crack because I did have to give it a little coaxing. So here's the van here and you can see that this is like the back access to the van. And then if you look within a few steps, you can see our like backyard patio awning area. So the thought is, is that with this coverage, we can like store tools here without having to worry about them being wet or like getting stormed on. And then also there's just like more, it's just easy access. It's kind of nice anytime we don't want to work in the van. We'll just look right outside our backyard and think, oh dang, we really have to work in the van. Exactly. <laughs> so now you'll see us put the fence back together. Now shout out to my 84 year old neighbor who you saw there for a brief second. He was able to help us and to be quite honest, if it wasn't for him, we probably wouldn't have been able to get this done on that day because the fence was incredibly heavy and it was really difficult to get the metal pole to line up with the metal pole that we had previously cut. But once we got everything lined up, it was simply a matter of screwing back in the screw and getting everything aligned. And once we did that, we were pretty much good to go and everything was fairly secure. He's like, what the heck? Hey, goes. What is this? What is this? It's a party van. It's a party van. I don't think he likes it. He does not. you guys so we were able to successfully get the van into the backyard and the reason why we were wanting to get the van into the backyard is so that we can work on it and the piece of our own yard we can have the dogs out here we don't have to worry about disturbing neighbors and so this was the first step of the van build so next week we will start deconstructing the stuff that is inside of the van we will start gutting the interior and getting it ready for the actual build of the van itself where we will install insulation we'll install framing and then we'll start installing like the furniture items as well. And so make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you stay up to date with all things the van build. Remember every single Friday we will be doing a video on this build. We will be talking about the finances of the build, how this build is going to be turned into a legitimate business and how you guys can do this exact thing at home. But I will see you guys in the next video.